Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to Modded Mega Aquarium. Today we're going to try and put a wall tank in over here and maybe a wall tank in over here if we get time as well. So first of all, we need to bunch down some of this stuff so that we can get all three of these in a much tighter space. So I think, first of all, we may, need, we may be able to get rid of one of these completely just by adding this onto this one and then I want to delete this one completely let's do that and then we know we're going to need some extra stuff on here so first thing we can do is get rid of that and instead we can add in in fact if we move this over by one that would be much better if we do that link it onto there and link it onto this one again and then we can get one of the big mega heaters here and we can place that there. And then I think we want to just delete everything else off it as well. Um, because we're going to want a large double one there. Still not got enough. So we will place a, another large double one just there. We're still just there and link it up to this one now that is enough so that's okay but if we want to add in a little bit of redundancy to that I would say we would put one of these in there and a bit of nitrate reactor just there now that is these two they will be sorted out for a long long time now um, and then this one I think may be actually okay there we will have a look at the maximum size of one of these wall tanks, um, which will be a deep wall tank. And we want it facing that way. Ah, so it does actually need to be a bit bigger. So if we can push... <clears throat> in fact, can we turn this around? So let's see, we need that much space. So if we say... We want it to um, spin this around. We are actually going to need some more space behind here. So let's do that first of all. Let's get, say, another three rows back here. Let's move that to there for now. And then let's get rid of this one as well. And we will replace that with a, with a bigger pump with more range on it. So now I think we can move this and spin it around like that which will give us hopefully enough space and we can't reach that one now we can't reach that one okay so maybe not in that configuration let's get rid of this completely let's start again. So we need a power pump and we need it to be able <clears throat> to get to everything so let's link it up to both tanks we're going to need to be able to get to everything <clears throat> so if we place that one there we can go behind it to be able to get in and if we place down one of these large ones just there that should be okay as well. So now, if we do that there, and that's okay for them. Now I'm wondering whether we can place in a um, another one of these just there, which will link up to that, and then put in just one of these power combis which will be fine there and that should link up all three of these in a fairly decent amount of space and now we should be able to put a large deep wall tank into this space here yep with a little bit of space left over perfect that's not what I wanted to do go away 
So now we want to get rid of all of this, like that, and we want to put this large wall tank in, like that. It needs to be maximum size for the amount of stuff we want to put in here. We need 150 space in total. And here we can even put in a staff door uh, in again here, um, which is in here, doors and windows, staff door like that. We need to add in a um, platform up to this. So if we move that one along, place this one in here, some stairs there and there. <clears throat> and then we can um, add in the stuff we're going to need for this tank. So let's add in the fish, well the eels that we want first. So we scroll down uh, to, where's the eels? Eels, here we go. We want for this um, wealthy benefactor, we want one, two and three of those. And then for our own benefit, we're going to want three of the banana mori eels as well. So again, if we scroll down to eels, banana mori eel here, they are different. They are slightly less, uh, I was going to say powerful, but uh, slightly less, um, uh, slightly smaller. They need a little bit less in the way of cave and stuff like that. Um, they give the same prestige, but they don't give as much ecology. So we'll grab one, two and three of those. Now this is going to need a lot of cave. So the first thing we're going to add in here uh, is actually going to be the um, the pump and everything. Um, so we're going to grab a power pump because that's the best one we can get. And I'm going to stick it a little bit further up and back here to about there. This is just going to be good for this one because I don't think that this will reach no it won't it's a bit of a shame I could have maybe reached that let's just see if we put it over here it'd have to be about there that might be all right actually if I do that delete this one we can try and get both of these in one go because I think one of these will actually give enough for both of them. And then we can do another large one of a large double filter, which would be enough for that one, but not quite enough for this one. So I think we'll go for large protein skimmer on one side and a large filter on the other side. And still no. Oh, it's only connected to one of them. Right, okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's enough. Wonderful. And then we can put two nitrate reactors on if we want to as well. But we've spent a huge amount of money so far. Um, so now all we need to do is make this look a bit more pretty and try and get up to this 39 cave that we need. So the first thing we're definitely going to want is one of these. These are 713 each. So if we do one there and one there, that gets us up to 24 straight away. We're also going to want... Um, I think we're actually going to need another one of those, aren't we? So if we do another one, say there, and another one there, that will actually get us up. It's not the prettiest way to do it, um, but it might actually look fairly cool if we do it like this. And I've got an idea of actually just doing the bottom of it here with eelgrass. And we'll see just how that looks. So go one, two there. Let's just have a look from down here at how this looks. That might actually look fairly cool. I mean, we could do these along the back instead. Um, but I think for now, just to get it in and to get it working, that will be fine. We've got no prestige stuff in here now, um, but I think we can actually now, if I've got everything right, press play, 
and everything will work. Let's go full speed. I have between episodes done a bit of micromanagement uh, with my staff, trying to get them um, a little bit more uh, focused on what they need to be doing. Now the game is shuddering just a little bit at the moment because I've got a lot of stuff going on in the background. Um, I've currently got two videos rendering so you can see it is actually taking a real hit to this game. Um, so I've got two different programs rendering in two different modes using my graphics card. Uh, both graphics cards, I've got SLI now on graphics card. So this game and two rendering engines are trying to use with graphics cards at the same time. It's trying to keep up and it's fine in first person mode here so we'll stay in first person for the time being until we get some research done and I want to get these Bartlett Olympias because they're really quite cool. Seven of them in a shoal looks good. So we have a new tank in. That's only taken us 10 minutes or so. That's actually fairly good. So this tank is fully up and running. Lots and lots of prestige and um, ecology stuff for that. We have two new staff level ups. We'll leave those for now. I have uh, bought one new member of staff uh, focused on feeding and that seems to have made the difference with this. We've got no real difficulties at the moment uh, with feeding and still this is the only zone that I've done. And there is that. Now we're back up to just under 10,000. So I think just to even things off I will expand this area over here to equal it out and we will <clears throat> increase the size of this corridor down there and then over here I want to kind of do the same that's what I want to spend this <clears throat> excuse me wow <clears throat> spend this extra money on is expanding this out to give us the space that we need to be able to do the stuff we want to do so if we bring that out to there and then out to there it's a decent amount of that money spent it does give us a lot of space I can try and do the same with these just let the game run on let's make sure everything's okay the more stuff we add in the more potential stuff has to go wrong see this tank um, is already being fixed so that's good we have lack of swimming space wow these can't be in this tank hmm so we're gonna have to have something else in that tank and then this new tank over here is gonna have to be for them so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna um, first of all I think we'll end up deleting all of these and we'll upgrade all of this also want to move these out of the way so we'll place them up there just for now want to delete all of that and maybe just a little bit more and then put one of these big tanks in a deep wall tank Bring it up to maximum size, 1680 for that. And then we'll put another staff door in just there. So this is the space we have for two of the tanks. And then we'll put another one behind. So we're actually looking for pretty much the same, aren't we? So we've got um, there it is. So it'll be just there. And that will link to this one and over to this one here. We'll then add in a mega heater just there. And then two double filters, one there and one there. That seems like they are okay. And then here we want behind them by one and again we want to move some of this away just a little bit we put one of them there and one of them over on this side just there uh, we'll add in a platform and two stairs like that 
And then we want to have a pump like that, which will link to this one here and to this one here. And we can add in a large filter and a large uh, mega heater. Now that is that one done. I want to move these across now. So we'll grab one, two and three and place them into here. So that's okay. And I think I'm going to leave this as it is, as it stands and we'll find something that fits in there. Um, so in here we're going to want Mm, total of 18 now we hardly have any money we may actually need to move some of this across so let's do that now let's move these from there all the way to here just put them around like that so that's that done you can place this into there the barrels like that the live rocks in there and we'll leave the rest of it. I'll grab one of a kelp. Just like that. And that will be fine for that one. For now, in fact, I do just want to say that I want to move that barrel down to there. Now these are still saying they have a lack of swimming space. What? 112? Why is this only on? Hang on, no, 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 no. Back out of all that. This tank only has a capacity of 112. This tank has a capacity of 112. Has that changed? I thought these had a capacity of 170 odd. Ooh, okay. So, we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, they're going to have to stay in there for now. I'm not too sure exactly what to do about that, to be honest. Well, a little bit more. Let's get this one in. Get common cosmic fish next. Thank you. Um... Hmm, not exactly too sure what to do about that. Because um, we uh, apparently we don't have a tank that's big enough to put them in. And I thought these big wall tanks were much bigger. These are only 100. Apparently the maximum size for these is only 112. Yeah, deep wall tank, 112. I'm going to need Belfast tanks for them then. We're also going to need Belfast tanks for these eels. So otherwise, when they grow, they're not going to like it. Hmm. What to do then? What to do? I think what I'll do is I'll have a think about that between episodes and see exactly what the best thing to do is. I'm going to need to let this run, run on because I need some capital. I need some money back. But they're even, <clears throat> they're even worse off in that tank than they were in this one. So it's difficult to know exactly what to say to do with these now. Um, maybe we should seriously think about putting a tank up at the other end. However, this might change things. We are now at rank 8. That has pushed us over into rank 8. That's really good. We have Pacific Paint, Egg Rack, Lantern and Skulls unlocked. And then we also have the U-Tanks. How big are these? These aren't going to be over 150. I think these are about 136, 126, 126, something like that. Um, <clears throat> but what other tanks do we, what other fish do we have? Um, we've got the Dulux Toilets, we can put those in. Dulux Toilets, Dulux Toilets, they're not paint. Um, 
and I'm not sure if anything else of these are new. I don't think so. Maybe the spotted box fish. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff now to actually research. And should we get something now? Let's go for the deluxe toilets so we can actually get those in, get some prestige out of the toilet blocks. And we have a new one here. Autopsy report. Unfortunately, one of them has died through lack of swimming space. I kind of knew that would happen. But it looks like we're going to have to get rid of them. Um, and then get something new. Because these guys are not going to be happy now. So unfortunately, we're going to have to sell these off. Give us a bit of capital to get something new in there. Probably should have sold off the other one. I've just wasted a little bit of prestige and some uh, money there. Let's just see if we can put anything in there. I love these uh, Bartlett and Fias. They're really not going to take much. Um, they may be good. We need seven of them. That is 1,400 and um, nearly. We've nearly got enough for them. There we are. That should be enough. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have those in bear instead. I may need krill. We'll probably need to get some krill down here. Um, let's have a look at krill dispenser 630. Well, wow. see if we can catch up for that just before this day is out. I need to move all this stuff along now as well, otherwise it looks a bit silly. There we go. That's going to push us into a negative before the next day, but that's okay. We will soon gather it all back. And then this tank down here is a little bit sparse now, a little bit empty. So is there anything quickly we can add into there? Um, but we don't have yet. Um, Arabian butterfly fish. 254. Let's grab, say, two or three of these. These are fairly nice and easy to uh, to keep. There's one of them. There's another one of them. So at least that's going to make the people happy and make sure they think that the tank isn't lifeless. And there's four. I'll keep I'll keep it at four of them in there. Banana Marielles and all of those have grown. Um, so let's get rid of all the growth reports and the autopsy report. Common cultural fish has been researched. Let's go for the clownfish next. I think they'll be nice to add into here with these. Um, <clears throat> right, it looks like our eels are having a bit of a problem time moving around in here. They're a little bit glitchy. So yeah, this is going to need to be a much bigger tank as well. Mmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow.